So to get started, first you'll need to create a custom entry point. This is basically to execute the code that I'll be showing the example of. So to do it, basically YouTube this up. So create custom entry point in SweetCRM. This is the by SweetCRM tutorials, that is me. So this is the actual uh, custom, this is the code. So first we're going to instantiate an object uh, and we basically need to define an object of what. So in this case, we're going to be looking for uh, a specific record inside the accounts module that has the name Amari. So basically an account with the name Amari. So if you wanted to look for a record inside a different module, you specify the different module name here. So in this case, it's accounts. So we instantiate the object using the, the get bean static method. And then we execute the method once we have our object created. So the method is retrieved by string fields. Uh, and then we pass it this array inside which we specify the name that we're looking for is Amari. So this is actually done. That means that this object now contains all of the information related to an account that goes by the name of Amari. <clears throat> now, if you want to get a more, more like a readable, human readable array of all of the data that it contains, we can do it using this uh, piece of code here. So we do a for, for each um, field definition. We pass it as key. So basically this is going to contain the field definition like ID, date added, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those are all the field definitions. So we're going to make a new array. So this is the, the blank array. The key is going to be this. And then the value is going to be this. So what this is, is basically we're fetching the object property data. So we're saying, hey, accounts, ID, get me this. So that's what it's going to create. And if we look at the, the code example, what it actually looks like, it's going to be like this. So this is the key here, and this is the value here. Those are the key value pairs, right? You can also do it differently. So instead of fetching all the data, for example, if you're just looking for the date entered, we can do it this way. We can basically say, can basically say just echo account date entered, right? So if we save this, <clears throat> let's see if it works. We do an update and it fetches just the date entered. If you found the video at all helpful, please leave a like and subscribe because I'll be creating more of these videos in the future. Thank you.